will you be able to get your Mavic 3 retroactively certified with a CMARC, also known as a class identification label. I've been a bit provocative in my statements in my previous videos around the Mavic 3, just to see if I could stir up some evidence that this is actually going to happen. Have I been able to do that? Watch along and find out. But before we get to that, I want to show you some of the latest images that has been surfacing on the interweb, again provided by a good friend of the channel, Jasper Ellens from 27 Leaks. And those shows an unboxed version of the Mavic 3 and one of the most remarkable things with these images is that it seems that the shade of gray is significantly darker than what we have seen in the past. This becomes pretty clear when it is compared to the light gray color of the DJI Mini 2. At least I think that is the Mini 2. Another thing that's worth noticing is the size of the props. They are pretty huge and we all know by now verified by DJI that the drone will be revealed on November 5th. We also at the same time know from the filings to the FCC database, which is required for any manufacturer to put out a new product on the American market, that the drone will not have a CMARC or class identification label from the start. And as I have preached in many of the previous videos, this will cause the drone to have all sorts of limitations, especially if you fly it in Europe, as it will end up as a legacy drone where it is sort of abandoned to fly far away from people and at least 150 meters away from urban areas. Getting a drone with the C label or class identification label is pretty crucial for many people deciding to buy this drone. So I have in the previous video stated that it would not be possible to retrofit drone under any circumstances as this is the, not the normal procedure by the EU Commission. And many of you have linked to an answer from EASA, the European Union uh, Aviation Safety Agency that had replied as an answer to some questions during a live stream from November 2020 that it would be possible to uh, retroactively certify the drones. But there has been no updated information about this until now. One of my subscribers, Frederick Larsen from Frederick Larsen Photography, he has taken the time to write to EASA directly to ask them some questions. And he actually got in contact with the people at EASA responsible for the drones and asked them a direct question about retrofit of the drones. And this is what they answered. I confirmed the manufacturer have the option to retrofit their products. However, this will be a business decision and the Asia cannot influence it. And at this moment, we do not have any news about which company will make use of it. And this is signed by Natalie de Rubo, which is a project manager for drones at the European Union Aviation Safety Agency. And she answered on the 21st of October, 2021. This is super exciting as it's very current and definitely keeps the hope alive. I don't think that this will be as simple as you will get a sticker in the mail that you could simply glue onto the drone. I think because this is flight safety, that it would have to be put on the drone in a way so it's not removable. This doesn't mean that DJI cannot solve this. They can just do like some sort of a swapping program. So if you decide to purchase the drone here on November 5th, and then later they will announce a program where you could swap in the drone and you could get a C Mark drone in return. So in this way, you could send in your drone and then you would get a CMARC drone in return. Maybe you have to pay a fee to be able to do that. But with this brand new information, and of course we need to double tap on it uh, to make sure that uh, it's confirmed from various sources, but it seems it would be possible, at least to some extent, to get a CMARC drone. And your initial investment by going for the unmarked drone will not be completely wasted. So basically how they will do it, we really don't know. But as this is a business decision, of course it needs to make sense financially for DJI to do so. So what do you think will DJI go for this option to offer you the opportunity to get a new drone that is CMARC? And how many of the drones do you think this program will extend to in case that they want to go for it? Personally, I think this will only be for drones that are being released between now and when the transition period ends on the 31st of December 2022. And it's so funny reading some of the comments because you all think that I'm bad and I'm trying to present the, the news uh, to get the clicks and all that stuff. But I'm actually just trying to present what it is that I'm reading. And in this case, it kind of provoked one of you to go the extra mile to provide some really valuable information for all of us. So it all served the planned purpose. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.